Hi, how's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer. Today I'm going to teach you how to use some of the presets and effects that are built into Adobe After Effects to make your footage look cool and different very quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import a movie. And I'm going to right click in my project window, import file. And then I'm going to navigate to my movie here and hit open. And now that popped up in my project window. And what I'm going to do to quickly uh, create a composition that's the same uh, dimensions and frame rate and size of my movie is I'm going to drag it here into this little button that'll create a new composition. So you can see there's a new composition in my project window with the same name as my file. And my movie's already popped up with the right uh, you know, duration in the timeline and, and everything matches up. So now I've got my movie you know, perfectly in sync with After Effects. Okay, so you know, a little movie here of some surfing uh, out front. I'm gonna catch a little wave. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a video preset to the movie just to show you how quickly and easily you can do this. So over here on the right in my effects and presets window, I've got some animation presets, 3D channel, audio, etc. There's just a lot of stuff in here that you can apply. So I'm just going to show you how to use this stuff very quickly and easily and so how you can change it around uh, with whatever it is that you're doing. So today we're going to do a quick color correction and I'm going to do an auto contrast to bring the contrast levels to where they should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally drag and drop this over onto my footage. You can see that my levels have have uh, have changed already. My blacks are a little deeper, and there's some whites there in the uh, in the whitewash. So that's already uh, you know good there. But you can see very quickly that uh, the contrast is already boosted. Simple. Don't have to do it manually. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle down and take a look at the effect here um, underneath the footage. And this is where all the parameters are going to be across the board. No matter what effect you've got, if you toggle down to the effect you can see them. Another way you can check them out is up here in your effect controls window there's going to be um, pretty much the same thing so you know whether you like to toggle stuff down in the timeline or up here there's two ways of doing it. Now if, if you feel like you're getting a little too much there's a, the last thing on here is blend with original. If I increase this percentage basically it's going to bring the opacity of the effect down. So if I increase it here say to 10% I'm going to lose some of that contrast. So if you feel like the effect is going overboard, you can blend back in your original footage with this parameter here. So that's a pretty basic way of applying one of the presets to your footage, in this case to uh, help out your contrast before rendering it out. Hope you had a good time. My name is Parker. Send any requests that you have to requests at mahalo.com. Have a good one.